G'day fellas, welcome back to another video in the Improvement Checklist series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ottomans. I'm going to be showing you guys a build order that you can be doing with the Ottomans for both land maps and water maps. Normally, you wouldn't be doing this in a team game, you'd be doing this in a 1v1 setting. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by moving all of my villages over onto the wood crates, with the exception of three, which are going to go over to this large bison. I'm going to start by moving the bison, the bison villages first. And then dividing them up amongst the wood crates. Explorer is going to be going over to the trading post. And then we're going to, after we've, we've gathered a little bit on the bison, we're then going to be moving these guys over to wood. And I'm going to explain to you guys exactly why we do this. Now, in the previous videos, we haven't actually looked, uh, one of the things that we haven't done is we haven't taken any treasures. But in this video, we're actually going to be taking a treasure. Because you can pretty reliantly get a 40 or 50 coin or wood treasure. Most matchups, most series, or like most maps that you, you get, you're going to be able to, to do that. So we're going to move all of our villages now across over onto wood. We're going to stick one that's just chopping or mining rather the food. We're going to send all the rest of these guys out. Shift, we'll bring our explorer down here. And so the idea is that we're going to be dropping this market and we're going to be getting hunting dogs as soon as we can. Now we need to keep enough resources in our bank so that we're able to drop that house down as well. So that's why we're chopping up that uh, that wood you can see that we're at 135 at the moment so we're going to make sure that we stop once we get to 150 so we're now going to be able to research hunting dogs and then move our villages off so that we can drop down a house so as you can see we've got enough resources to start off with a trading post with the market get hunting dogs and to drop a house as well now if we didn't have that coin treasure in our base i probably wouldn't have done done what i've done uh, i would have just left it uh, the wood and probably put it towards a mosque but the idea is that we're going for a more economic play with the ottomans now this is by no means i probably wouldn't call this a standard build order it's something that's sort of been popularized by the player by the name of mito where you play more economic in age in age two rather than going for a fast fortress play now once again we're not going to be taking any of these treasures but we will be shooting them just so we, that we get that that little bit of xp starting to trickle in now uh just for for killing them miss clicking on a bison just there but uh being very careful just to not lose any uh, any any villager seconds on uh, on these bison. There's another 40 coin tre treasure there. We're just going to leave that one. And uh, and now our three villagers coming in. So we're just going to shoot this bison dead. Otherwise, it's just going to wander off over here somewhere. Even though it's probably... It's going to rot on the ground. It's better that, that we kill it and we actually... Uh, we don't lose that, that food forever. Now, you might be thinking, All right, Drongo, but you chopped 50 wood. That's a lot of wood to chop in the early game for a civilization that wants to get up super duper early now as i showed you we only picked up that one coin treasure and we're still looking like we're going to have a pretty decent age up time aging up about two minutes 30 which is very very standard for the ottomans so a pretty decent opening i would say now in the transition period we're going to begin herding and we're going to make sure that we herd at least two hunts because the ottoman will chew through that wood and uh, and one of the, the key points to note is that uh, we're going to be trying to get our steel traps upgrade asap and we're going to be using that to our advantage and really just only chopping out or only only gathering food in the early game. So now we've got 100 uh, and, and 25 uh, wood. So we want to be getting to, this is, I know it seems like a lot, 325 wood in the opening period of the game. And so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be moving our villages down to create a forward base as well. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a strategy that we're doing. So 325 wood is the key. So 200 for barracks and 125 for that steel traps. So that's what we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to start by just moving a few villages now over to coin. So all we want are 50, uh, all we want is 50 coin. That's it. We don't want any more. We don't want any less. And that's just so we can queue in our first two Janissaries. Otherwise, all the rest of the villages are going to be on food. They're going to be gathering up that all important food for us going to keep herding we might move these two villages these guys are going to be our forward villages so we'll move these guys down maybe move them out over here and now we've got enough uh so we've got 325 exactly so we're going to be starting by dropping down our barracks let's maybe drop it down over here so there goes the barracks so we'll drop that one down and then moving our villages over onto wood and sending in coin crates as our first shipment so the coin crates are going to be used to provide us uh enough resources to train up janissaries uh, you can see that we've already overgathered uh, our, our coin there. So a little bit uh, of a mistake, but that's all right. That's okay. Uh, we still will get to use that coin at the end of the day. And now going to continue herding in. I'm going to continue just dropping down houses as well. Making sure that we don't overbuild houses. We really want to make sure that with, with our houses that we, we just build the appropriate amount. So we only need to build two houses. So we, you can see that we've got that one Janissary in queue. We're going to get that second Janissary in queue now. So with this 700 coin, once it comes in... 
that's where we're going to be gathering it up with plenty of settlers so that we can get our steel traps in. We'll drop down another house as well. And we're going to go five villagers now. And so now we begin queuing up our Janissaries. You can see we're going to get five in the first batch. Let's get our Explorer in, ready to go, begin snaring. We've got steel traps coming in behind it. And uh, and do not be afraid to, to buy wood when you eventually need it. And you can see we're trying to get that in. And there we go. We can see the opponent's already got some... They look like Peruvian dogs. They are indeed, so got to be careful of those ones. And then, so from here, just making sure all of our villagers are just on food. That's really key. And then, so after our five villagers come in, we're going to be sending in the next shipment. So that's going to be the 600 coin. And making sure that we, we queue up our Janissaries. We want to be queuing up two at a time. Uh, just so that we, our batches come in and, and, and strengthen our forces at the appropriate time. So we've now got those five villagers in. So what we can do here is we can actually buy 100 wood. Just drop down another house because we've started off with that market. So it makes it a little bit easier for us to transition. And now keep in mind if this was a, a game against a, a, a real person. You know, we'd be in here under the town center. You know, doing our best to idle the opponent. You can see that we're, we're getting out a batch right there of uh, 8 gens. That's going to be a ninth gen that comes in. There we go. We, we get a batch of 10. And so now we're going to go with the 600 coin. Now the key with the 600 coin is you've got to wait a little bit of time before you queue your gens. So even though we can queue gens now, it's not going to be they're not going to be ready by the time uh, the 600 coin comes in. So we want to wait for it to be reaching just about halfway, and that's when we're going to queue it up because otherwise we're going to miss that batch. And so that's what it's all about. So now I'm going to queue that up. That explorer is very very tanky. We managed to take him out, though. So now we've got those Janissaries in queue. So if we were to queue up another Janissary, that, that's fine. But now we've only got three Janissaries. Now keep in mind, if we had uh, if we had built those Janissaries or queued them, they'd be just about finishing right now. And it would mean that we wouldn't be able to do anything with them. So you can see we're just picking up all of the coin with our uh, our, our villagers here. And then we're going to begin training out our Janissaries. There you go. So we get out another full batch of 10 Janissaries there. And then with that extra coin, once again... Don't be afraid just to buy 100 wood. Drop down another house. And you can see we're at 7 minutes now. We've got 28 Janissaries. And we're looking very, very healthy when it comes to our economy. We've got steel traps. We've got 22 villages. 23, take that back. Uh, and our economy is looking really, really strong. It's a great way to apply pressure to your enemy. And at the same time, really build up your economy. The next thing from here is to go 700 wood. And with this, you can add either a stable. You can look at adding in... Uh, an artillery foundry, but the most important thing is that you need to drop your mosque and you need to get ready to get the next upgrades uh, for your mosque. So your villagers are about to run out. You can see right here that we're uh, we're sitting on 23 at the moment and we're in dire, dire need of that wood uh, because we're, uh, we're about to pop ourselves. We're about one population away from it. So as that 700 wood comes in, once again, you're going to be gathering it up as quickly as you can just so that you can drop down those houses try and finish those batches it's going to be extra tight i don't think we're going to be able to do it we'll try our best though let's see if we can drop down a house yeah it's 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 it's, it's not going to hit but that's okay still getting a pretty decent batch here so still pretty happy with that so 36 gens at eight minutes so this is basically your your, uh, your very typical uh double gen rush so now dropping down the mosque and behind this you might want to drop down say an artillery foundry so we can do that as well so we'll just bring that out like that and you can see that now our macro is beginning to look quite quite poor, just simply because we haven't been training the Janissaries that we needed to. Uh, so we're going to switch around our, our units, uh, put a few more villages here. And so we really badly need this upgrade because we're about to have our 25th settler in. So you can even sell a little bit of coin here. So we'll just finish our, our batch of Janissaries. We're up to 46. And now finally, we're going to get our upgrade in here. So making sure that we get this upgrade to increase our villager limit. Other than that, fellas, that's essentially how you do the double racks eco gen rush. Uh, focuses on keeping pressure on the opponent in the early game while at the same time building up your own economy behind it. If you've liked this video, leave a like. If you think that I've missed something, make sure you leave a comment. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.